this. And then before we jump into the tips that that, you, that you've prepared, uh, and, and this I think was, was great for us, that there's some people that just build a company and talk about stuff they don't necessarily know about. Tomer, actually, uh, you, you've created your own product, right? Like a, a Chinese hacky sack or something. Uh, and you like private labeled it, manufactured it, imported it. Uh, what lessons, I mean, I guess like first tell us like, what was it that you created? And then what are the lessons that you learned there that shape how you deal with e-commerce and how you support e-commerce build, uh, businesses today? Yeah. So actually I was an importer uh, when I was uh, uh, learning uh, like my degree in Tel Aviv University, we had like a strike for the first year. And then I got a little bit bored said, okay, what I need to do. And one of my friends uh, that was visiting in uh, China had like a phenomenal game. He brought us a few pieces <clears throat> and then we said, you know what? It actually makes sense to bring it to Israel. So I founded a company and used my money, my parents' money, and just bought like designed like the game for Israel and in packages imported from China and start selling it through retailers. And actually we had like 300 selling points at the tops and we actually sold every piece of the game. It was for kids that it's like soccer with like feathers, et cetera, et cetera. And so I learned on that a few things. One is China is changing the game in terms of like products. So China, China is a big force. Till today, I think the most successful, by the way, app on uh, Shopify is like, uh, how it's called, I forgot the name, like drop shipping from Ali that you don't need to own the product. Mm -hmm. So that is changing right. the game. <clears throat> Second, I learned that the quality of your product is really, really important. So you need to really, really understand like where your product is good, where it's bad, what you need to improve. And the third thing is like the power of the community. Like it's so, so important what people are saying about your brand, about your product, that you got to nail that. Because if you got that wrong, you cannot survive. And I don't care how much money you have to spend on online advertising, on email marketing, on TV commercial, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> There's a famous sentence that too many startups or e-commerce companies are dying while uh, making uh, Google and Facebook very, very wealthy. Right. So right. you need to nail your product, your community very, very quickly early on. And so that was like a phenomenal experience. It also really helped me on how to, like how to be better in sales as an engineer and in computer science grad. So now I'm actually like, I have a strong passion for sales. I love sales mm -hmm. and selling, not just for customers, to partners, to employees, to investors. And so I think that also taught me like, a lot on like the verbal communication and the importance of mm -hmm. having those like personal relationships. And that's also very, very important. And so it was just like a phenomenal experience right. and that I could not be more happy with. Awesome. Awesome. And then even, you, at some point, you switched over that. Wasn't, yeah, it, it wasn't the most successful business. We finished up like break even, like a little bit profitable, but it was more about like the experience was phenomenal, not as a business. It actually wasn't like the best business in the world. Right. All right. But you came away with uh, education, which is a whole lot more than uh, you probably pay a whole lot more for that actual education. Yeah.